Hello babes, welcome to a brand new video on my channel. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I'm sweating, but I just got home um, from doing a grocery shopping and I kind of miss bringing you guys with me, but honestly, it's such a, like I get so much anxiety at the freaking grocery store now. Like there's not that many people there, but I went to three different grocery stores because I was looking for specific things. I was looking for Indian um, like ingredients and not every grocery store has that, but I know that Walmart um actually has a really good selection at least here in canada i probably look like the wind blew me away which i feel like it did um, because i want to make a more traditional biryani and i love 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 making the yogurt that goes with it I'll show you guys what i got um but some stores don't like go super cultural here i feel like in the u.s i don't know this is just kind of my impression i feel like there's like specific stores so you guys will have like um like a grocery store that's meant for like Mexican stuff and then like if you want to go for Indian stuff you go to the Indian market like that's just how I think it is there whereas here we do have those um, and I've never been to them but also in our grocery stores we like have an international aisle they call it so let me know how they do it in um, the states but the first grocery store I went to oh my god their international aisle me taking down my hair and then tying it back up. International aisle in the first grocery store I went to, like, it just sucks. Like, I'm just like, do y'all have nothing else but, like, regular food? Like, you know what I mean? I'm gonna show you guys what I got. And today is Tuesday, by the way. This sweater, you guys, I've had it for, like, three or four years. It might even be four years. It's from Topshop, and it's when I worked with um, Topshop at the Hudson's Bay here in Canada. We did a video together. And it's kind of when I started YouTube, so it's so crazy. I still absolutely love this sweater. I love it, and it's so warm and cozy. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to link this for you guys because it's so damn old. But I can try to find you guys a similar. Um, by the way, if you guys have not subscribed, make sure you guys do. Give this video a big thumbs up if you guys are enjoying it so far. Um, and also follow me on IG, it's at Steph Macedo. And if you guys don't want to miss out on any of my brand new videos, click the bell and click all. Make sure your notifications are on on your phone settings and also on the YouTube um, app so that you guys don't miss any of my new videos. So, um, I feel like it's such a mission to go to the grocery store. Am I the only one? Like, I feel like I just had a workout. It's crazy. I love this cart so much. It helps me so much. You guys can't see it, but... Um, so, at Longo's they had this bag of um, salad greens and I do a lot of, if you guys missed my What Eat In A Day video, you guys loved that video and showed so much support, thank you guys so much. Um, you guys love the recipes and you always love when I share my tips and tricks. Whether you're on a weight loss journey or if you're just trying to live healthy or just kind of how to deal at home right now when it comes to food and everything. Um, because me like we're on lockdown so I can't go anywhere except for getting like my food I pick up my Starbucks at the drive-thru and that's my life <laughs> right now And I know a lot of you guys are going through the same thing But I know some parts of the world like you're not on lockdown. I keep wanting to make this brighter I like when things are bright y'all. Okay <sighs> All right, um when I saw this I was like ooh the maple the barbecue maple salmon that I do I feel like would go so good inside of here with like a balsamic vinaigrette and salmon is kind of high in calorie so I think I want to do like the salmon on top of the salad and maybe like a grain or something this is what I was looking for and I found it there was only two packs left so I showed you guys on IG that I've made biryani so many times before but never the traditional way like everybody has their own ways of making it and if I order through takeout, which I did last week, oh my god, it was so good. I got garlic naan, and then I got the reita, which I hope I'm saying it right. Um, I got the yogurt, and then I got the biryani, right? And it had chicken breast. It didn't have chicken thighs, which is what I think I'm going to be using. I think I'm going to use chicken breast, because one, it's leaner, and two, it's what I have in my fridge. What was I going to say? Okay. Uh, moving on. So I was looking for these guys. Um, okay, yeah, I think I know what I was gonna say now. So I got um, it for takeout, and whether you order it like from a restaurant, takeout, whatever, I've had so many different looking biryani, so everybody does theirs differently. But green cardamom pods, like what? This is what is inside of the bir uh, biryani. So, but for like some of the ones that I've eaten, I keep seeing these green looking pod things. 
and I did not know what they were. And I've been eating them whole. Like the other times I've seen them, I kind of put them aside. It's kind of like bay leaf. When you see them, like you don't eat it right. The bay leaf is just there for our flavor and for the cooking purposes. I'm like, that doesn't look like I'm supposed to eat it. Like it looks like it was just there for the flavor. So I would like push them aside. This time I saw it and I was like, I'm gonna eat it. So I just ate the whole thing. And I looked it up, I was like, what are the green things in biryani? I'm so excited that I found these. They kept suggesting that I get garam masala, so I got this. They also called for ghee, I think that's how you pronounce it. But that's basically just like a butter. Um, but I'm just gonna use mine, like I'm not gonna do it the traditional way with all of that because one like tablespoon is like a whole hundred calories. You can make this at home yourself are these i get these um barbecue maple salmon from the superstore they are my favorite you guys but i understand not everybody has these especially those who are watching me from the states or anywhere else in the world um which by the way when you guys say like hi from south africa um hi from like the uk like all these different parts of the world is still blows my mind like i get it you know on the internet anybody in the whole entire world can connect and watch you but it's just so crazy and I've always found that so interesting. So every time you guys comment and let me know where you're from, especially if you're not from Canada or the US, it just it just always blows my mind. I feel like you can use the Montreal chicken spice, any kind of like chicken spice, and then you can put some seasoned salt, some paprika, some garlic, some onions, some salt, black pepper, and then get like maple syrup or get a little bit of maple syrup in some of like a barbecue sauce that you have and mix it up and that's what gives it like this sweetness but at the same time it's salty from all the other spices and i still add like montreal chicken spice to this anyways then i got some balsamic vinegar so i'm gonna do like my own dressing but i think i got i think i got another dressing anytime i do like a salad i really like just love the flavor of balsamic it's very rich it has a little bit more depth and i just like the taste of it i got these okay which they look like the candied grapes to me if you guys have never tried the cotton candy grapes i don't know what they're called they literally taste like candy okay and i haven't seen them um i haven't seen these in a I'm not a fruit person, so that's why I'm making this face. I don't think these are it. Oh, they're sweet. Oh, I'm not a... That's why I don't like fruit. You put it in your mouth and it's just this burst of like sugar. I just... This one tried to get away. You see that? Watch yourself. So I'll still snack on these. They're really good too because they have a low calorie density grapes and I've been focusing a little bit more on those types of foods because if it's low in calorie density, you guys, basically you're going to be able to get fuller for a smaller amount of calories and you're able to have more of a larger portion. Um, so it's really good. I don't like to make like weight loss complicated, but that's just something that I've learned using the app that I'm using. I just think it's a really good tip, especially for people who struggle with portion sizing. I got the pink Himalayan salt, got um, mint because we need mint for the yogurt for the biryani. That yogurt on top of the biryani is so fire. It's literally what makes it. Like if I don't have that, I don't think I can eat the biryani to be honest with you. So then I got 1% um, original yogurt from Astro. I feel like this one, I keep finding that it's probably one of the lower calorie ones. And I did get another salad dressing. So I got feta dill, but it's a Greek yogurt dressing and it's only 25 calories. So I always like to look for lower calorie dressings. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. Um, low calorie dressings are just very important because let's be real a salad ain't shit without a good dressing you know what i mean like how can you enjoy a salad and just have it like i love salads okay but i definitely i've already told you guys i'm not the type of channel that's going to be like i'm on a weight loss journey salad 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 smoothie 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 fruit 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 veggie 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 like that's not me but i love my salads but you have to enjoy what you're eating you know what i mean and then i got Ooh, i'm probably gonna wait because this thing has been like kind of going around and this is kombucha and when you open it it just goes all over the place so i got the uh, synergy watermelon one i've gotten a little bit more used to drinking kombucha it has natural probiotic in it and just all these like 
good old bacteria in there for you, you know? Um, who knew bacteria was good for us? And these guys are not cheap. $3.50 for one. That's why if you can find the big ones, it's worth it. But I don't drink it like religiously, you know what I mean? So sometimes I'll pick it up. And then something I never buy, but it says that it's in the biryani, so I bought it, is some ginger. I don't like to actually buy ginger and grate it because, man, your hands just... I honestly don't like ginger, but when it's mixed into foods, I do, like, I can appreciate it. I got a whole big-ass bag of basmati rice, because this is my favorite rice, and of course we're making biryani. The smaller one was like $9, and then this one is double the amount of rice for the same price. So why, why would you get the small one? Um, and then, oh, I got, I got some more good stuff for y'all. Just, just wait, watch this out, just wait, okay. So well, wow, first thing I, I'm like, watch yourself. First thing she pulls out is something she buys all the time. So unsweetened original um, almond milk. But now what they did with the so nice one is they've added organic, uh, means zero synthetic pesticides. So basically what they're saying is the last ones that you've been buying have pesticides. Aw, thank you, so nice. That's so nice of you. <laughs> I'm so glad that you guys took out the pesticides for us now. That's great. So I've been drinking pesticides from before. So we got that. Next time you go to buy the original one, just maybe think twice. And then I got some bay leaves. I got the one that was low in price. I always wonder, like, if I do get the $5.99 one instead of the $1.97, am I really getting a better product or are they the same shit? Like, do you guys ever think like that? Because I'm always like, y'all tricking me. You are tricking me. Then, you guys, I have been craving. I'm about to open this up right. I've been craving olives ever since I did that video in HelloFresh Scent Olives. Um, this is also a really good low calorie dense um, snack or just food. You can put this in your salads, which I probably will. Um, they're about six calories per olive. It really just varies because they're small, there's large, different kinds of olives. Um, but generally like six to seven calories per olive. If you eat five, it's generally 30 calories. Um, but they have antioxidants. They have, um, they're high in vitamin E, I read. They have a lot of healthy fats in them. Basically, again, you'll feel fuller eating an olive opposed to something else that's higher um, in density. And it'll keep you fuller longer. I was looking online because sometimes I like to refresh how much, like how many calories. So I haven't had olives in a while, but I do enjoy them. So I went online when I did that video and I'm like, how many calories are olives again? And that's how I find the calories for things, you guys. Whatever, and I scroll down and someone, like this is the type of stuff that still blows my mind, you know? Someone asked, are olives fattening or are they good for you? So it's just, it just goes to show you, like we have been really taught to be so afraid of food. So because you found out that there's fats inside of olives, now you now you think in your mind that olives might be fattening. Like, you know what I mean? Like there's just so much that people need to learn and research for themselves. When people think that because something has fat in it, like yogurt or something, oh, that's fattening. What does that mean, you know? It means that the media and for so many years that if something has fat in it, that's right, fish oil, hello. Those things are good for you. You're also going to eat things that are not so good for you that contain fat too. The problem is, this is what I don't like, is if you eat foods with fat, you get fat. That is literally the message that we've been sent for years. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it's, it's really crazy. It's really crazy. Like, seriously, it's... <laughs> I, I'm literally like, I'm speechless, you know? and. Don't get me wrong, I used to believe so many myths, but I feel like I'm at such a different place now that I need to give my knowledge out to, you know what I mean? Like back then when I was like on those stupid crazy diets, like I would think stupid shit like that. But that is so crazy. Like then, so then you're gonna miss out on all the nutritional things that are inside of these things, right? Blew my mind. I posted it on IG. I posted it on YouTube because I, I just feel like a responsibility and having to like just tell you guys these things. You know what I mean? Anyways, mm, this one is stuffed with garlic. Mm, you know how I feel about my garlic. Oh my god, these are so good. Some of you were commenting that you've never tried an olive in your life and I'm like, okay. Like what? They're salty. More of an acidic kind of family group. Like they taste acidic. Mm, so good. 
how would you guys describe them that's what i would describe them but they're just freaking good oh my god i grew up with olives and portuguese so i mean hello we love our olives and y'all just thought i picked up one kind <laughs> please please um the calabres i don't know if it's calabrese or calabres i don't know they're italian italian loves italians love their olives too just like we do mm. i'm just opening up all my olives and just having a few straight in front of y'all so this one has like pepper and like garlic and just a bunch of goodness like oh my god they're a little bit smaller we do a lot of this kind too with the pepper and the garlic and we also put onions mm, i don't like this olive I like the seasoning, but I don't like the olive. See, some olives actually, this, salty. This one, way more mild. Yeah, oh shit, I don't really like these. They're more bitter. Mm. Anyways, if you want to snack on olives, it's not illegal. And no, they're not fattening. I got online because I'm going to be making pico de gallo. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Did you guys just see my face? I was like, I thought I forgot some groceries on the freaking counter. Oh my god. Four tomatoes. And I also, this is another thing that I do, you guys. I think about what I'm going to cook. But I also try to think of recipes where I'm like, okay, I'm buying tomatoes. I'm buying ginger. I'm buying dressing. I'm buying salad. Okay. Um, what can I make with the leftover of these tomatoes? What can I make with... The leftover of these cucumbers. What can I make with uh, cilantro? So with the cilantro, for example, I'm making pico de gallo. And I'm also using it for the biryani. I like to do that. Same thing with the tomatoes. Pico de gallo and the biryani. So it's like, I feel like it helps you not waste food. And then I got a whole bunch of cilantro, which is my favorite. I forgot to bring my reusable bags. Um, oh my god, I love cilantro. Yeah, this one's one of the good ones. Kombucha can taste like feet if you've never tried it before. Like it literally tastes like dirty feet. Not that I've ever licked dirty feet or ate dirty feet. But I have a feeling I know what they would taste like. And the other thing I love about kombucha is this whole entire bottle is 70 calories. There's so many that you can find, you guys. The whole freaking bottle is like 30 calories. Like it's crazy. I just opened this up and I'm like, let me just open it and smell it. Oh my god. I put my nose right into it and I was like, I wish I caught it on camera. I was like, wow. Wow, it just went into my sinuses and I feel like if you have like, if you're stuffed here, just buy these and just sniff them. <laughs> I just finished my coffee table, my brand new coffee table and oh my god, I am obsessed. Like, I can't even tell you guys. Oh my god, look how gorgeous that is. So the top is um, a custom glass that I got cut and I ordered online and got it shipped to me. I got the basically extra clear glass because the normal one, as I told you guys, it does come very greeny blue and it would also make the boxes look very green and ew, that would just ruin up, like that would just ruin everything. Uh, what I did was I used um, two planters. They actually came in a, a dark charcoal color and I had to get a special bonding paint, which I can show you guys which one I got. And then I got um, glass bumpers off of Amazon. I was finding that when I was editing here, the circle kind of cut a lot of space. If I had like a Starbucks beside me and I wanted, let's say, my iPad there, I couldn't do that. It was just, it was too small, right? So I made sure to get more of a wider um, kind of width with still having space on each side of my sofa to still walk around. And I really wanted it super low. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's literally like... 10 inches and a half i want to say and this was the paint that i got the can is dented because it came like that zinser and it's bullseye one two three basically this is made to stick to a lot of like complicated surfaces where paint would have trouble sticking to guys what a big difference and the glass just opens up the space whereas the black one like when you looked over here it was like boom it was like black so you guys can see here this is like the perfect height if you're like on the computer your elbows are right here on your side whereas like before i was kind of like this and i had to have like a pillow underneath me to like lift me up and this carpet that i have if you guys love it which i'm obsessed with it, it is from ikea so i can link it for you guys but i wanted to show you guys like why i chose it to be super low one because it opens up the space and number two it was perfect for me to edit here be on my ipad if i want to 
or just sit here and just do stuff you know what i mean hello babes so i'm actually finishing editing this video and i've realized that once again i have way too much footage and i'm like oh my god i have enough footage for two videos so the next video it's going to be um a cook with me stay tuned for that video i'll probably post it this week as well but i wanted to show you guys my diy coffee table because i know some of you on here um don't get to see like my ig posts because you don't have ig i filmed that footage a while back my coffee table has been done for like i want to say like over a month now um but if you don't have me on ig there is a reel on there if you guys want to see kind of like this really fun reel of a before and after but yeah that's basically it for this video you guys if you enjoyed do not forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe follow me on ig it is at stephanie macero and if you don't want to miss any of my new videos and my second vlog make sure you guys turn on your post notifications which is that little bell thank you guys so much for watching and i will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video